Okay, so this video is going to be about how to use Box Drive. So there are many different Box apps. Um, a lot of them are very similar, but today we're going to just be talking about Box Drive. So in order to download that, you're going to go to your um, Box homepage and go up here to this top corner where it has your initials. Uh, it'll show this drop down menu and you can choose apps. Then you're going to select this box, edit one, and you're going to follow this link right here. Here it'll show up and it'll show you all the different Box apps and the downloads for Mac and for Windows. So I'm going to download Box Drive because I feel like that's the easiest one to work with. Um, I've actually already downloaded it, but you would choose your selection based on what kind of computer you have. Once you've downloaded it, if you go, if you search for the Box app, it'll show up over here. If you open it, It'll bring you to a menu where you need to log in. So here you would log in using your um, NetID at byu.edu and then your password. It's going to ask you to sign in again just through BYU so they can verify that it's you. And here you just need to type in your NetID and password. You don't need to do the at byu.edu. <sighs> Great. So once it's logged in, you'll notice that it doesn't pop up any, there's no app that pops up. This is because Box Drive is a way to edit things as if they were files saved onto your computer. So if we open up the Box app, we'll see that this file explorer thing comes up and we'll see over on the side, I have access to the folders that I have in Box. So for example, if I open up this My Folder file, which is one of my file or folders in Box, and I open up this test document, Oops, we'll see that this is what I have, test and high. So I'm gonna change the color to blue and I'm gonna make the font a lot bigger. Um, in order for these changes to save in box, I need to make sure I save them here. So once I've saved, I can go now check in box. And I can see if the, the changes have been updated. Um, so I'm going to open up test document and we can see that it's blue and it's a lot bigger than it was. So that's one uh, very easy thing about um, Box Drive is that instead of having to go onto the website every time to edit your documents, you can just do it straight from your desktop using Box Drive. However, there is a little difficulty because it doesn't pop up as an app. There's no really easy way to log out and if you're using this Box Drive on um, a public computer, you're going to want to log out so no one has access to your folders. So in order to log out of Box Drive, on a Windows computer, you can press Control, Alt, Shift, B, as in boy. And this little menu here will pop up. If you click this gear icon in the top left corner and then select Log Out, you'll easily be logged out of Box. You need to check this box and then log out of Box Drive. And now you can see once you've logged out, if I open up the box again, it'll pull up the screen again where I can log in instead of op automatically showing my folders in the file explorer. So I hope that helps. Um, thank you for watching my video.